Hey legends, what is up? Phil Graham here, finder of Authority Network. Today I wanna to talk to you about a very simple three-step framework that you can use when it comes to investing in your business or in yourself. Run this filter through any decision that you make. Before I get into it, quick little announcement. We have got our Authority Network Massive Action Day coming up on Saturday the 11th of December 2021. It's the first live event that we've had all year where we're going to be getting a bunch of the wealthiest, most talented, most skilled fitness entrepreneurs together to spend a whole day working on growing their business and how they're going to dominate 2022 in respect to their marketing, their sales, their delivery. We've opened up a handful of VIP seats. If you want to come to the event and spend the whole day learning, networking with people, you probably meet some best friends for life and essentially just asking anything that, that there is about growing your online fitness business, uh, please uh, go to phil-graham.com slash M-A-D and you'll be able to buy yourself a VIP sit-in ticket Saturday the 11th of December 2021 in Dublin, Ireland. If you're not double vaxxed, you can fly into Belfast and get a bus down to Dublin or a train. It takes around about an hour, an hour and a half and we'll see you there. We're in the process of putting together the whole timetable for the event, but it'll have dedicated sections to marketing and messaging, how to attract clients, sales and the latest stuff that our clients are using to absolutely crush five-figure sales months, and also delivery operations team, and most importantly, mindset, so you can raise your identity, build the belief systems that you need to essentially crush 2022. Um, if there's one thing that you could do to close the year out strong, it's come to these events. If you've been following me for a while, you've probably seen these events over the years. I'm gonna play a little bit of B-roll over the top of this video so you can see the kind of crowd that comes here. We've got online fitness experts, nutritionists, dietitians, health and wellness experts, online personal trainers, essentially people that are selling high ticket services for over a K plus. If you wanna learn how to do that, again, come to the event. If you wanna learn how to scale how to do that, come to the event, it's gonna be incredible. Um, we've only opened it up to a limited number of spaces, so. As far as I'm aware, there are spaces left. Head over to phil slash M-A-D. Get it done now before the Christmas rush comes and you have to pay more for a hotel or more for flights. Anyway, let's get stuck into the topic that I wanna to talk about today. When it comes to investing in yourself, you're gonna be presented with a lot of options. And quite frankly, a lot of those options are gonna be distractions. They're not necessarily gonna bring the return on the investment that you put into them. One thing that we need to get really, really clear is that if you're watching this, you probably have some goals in respect to the amount of money that you wanna make, the amount of impact that you wanna have in the world, or the status that you wanna have in respect to teaching or preaching a particular field. And essentially, you have goals around freedom, family, fun, and health. I want you to use this three-step framework when it comes to making decisions, how to know whether or not it's a worthwhile venture or use of your time or even money, okay? Bear that in mind, we're not just talking about paying for stuff here, we're talking about investment of time and energy as well. So here's the thing, I want you to draw a triangle out. Draw a triangle on a piece of paper if you're watching this on YouTube, just draw it out if you're listening to it on the podcast, draw it a triangle. And in the middle of that triangle, I want you to write the question, should I invest and put a question mark on it. On one side of the triangle, what I want you to do is I want you to write the word speed. Whenever it comes to investing, one of the most important things that you've got to ask yourself is, is this going to help me get to my goals quicker? And there are two things when it comes to speed. One, is it going to give you the skills? Is investing in the course, in the mentor, in the process, in the tool, going to help you level up your skills so you can actually get the outcome that you want? Number two, inside speed, is process. Is it going to give you the clarity the process, the step-by-step -step steps to get to where you want to go. So skill and process are critical when it comes to speed. So speed is on one side of the triangle. The next side that I want you to look at is access. When it comes to access, two things that I want you to consider. Is it gonna give you access to the relationships that you need that are gonna connect you to the people, to the opportunities, to the knowledge, to the insight that you need to achieve your goals. Inside access, you've also got community. 
So when it comes to community, have you got access to a community of inspiring people that are going to essentially encourage you, support you, challenge you, call you out on your BS, and essentially drive you to take action on projects, the tactics, the bits and pieces that are all part and parcel of helping you achieve your goal? Are they going to share best practices? Are they going to share stuff that's worked? Are they going to share stuff that hasn't worked? Very important when it comes to investing in yourself. And then the third thing that I want you to put on the triangle is insurance. Is it going to protect you from a personal point of view? And is it going to protect you from a business point of view? So let me explain. If you're going to invest in a course or you're going to invest in a mentor, um, how is it going to protect you personally and how is it going to protect you business-wise? Well, personally, if you don't know what to do, you're going to end up super stressed. And when you're stressed, you tend to make bad decisions. You tend to have high-risk behaviors. You tend to have behaviors that want to stimulate and make you feel good in the moment. And there's a whole host of stuff like porn, drugs, um, making fun of other people, gossip, all that kind of stuff. And those decisions essentially have secondary and tertiary effects that eventually can influence the rest of your life. From a business perspective, is it going to help you retain more clients? Is it going to help you get more clients? Is it going to help you close more sales? Is it going to help you deliver better service and get a better result, which essentially is going to keep clients paying for longer and referring more and more and more, which is essentially a way to protect your revenue and protect your status, your reputation and everything else. So run that framework through anything that you're going to invest in. Is it going to give me speed? Is it going to teach me the skills? Is it going to give me a process to give me clarity? Number two, is it going to give me access to the right relationships, higher level relationships, relationships that could benefit me for many, many years to come? Is it going to give me access to a community of people that I want to be part of my future? And three, is it going to give me insurance and is it going to protect my downside personally and also going to protect my business? So think about the risks and the challenges that come to you personally and to your business if you don't achieve your goals. And essentially, use that framework every single time you go to buy something. Even if it comes to buying a new computer and you're like overwhelmed by the fact that, oh, I don't know whether or not this is going to be worth it. Well, is it going to give me speed? Well, it works faster than my current computer. Um, it's got more apps. It's got more RAM. It allows me to operate quicker. Uh, access. Well, it technically gives me access to a faster machine that I can essentially get more opportunities out of. Is it going to protect my downside? Well, if my other machine is stressing me out and it's overwhelming me and I'm fed up every time I go on it and I've got a subconscious belief that every time I go on this thing, uh, it's going to essentially just slow me down and then I end up ignoring work, then investing in a new computer is going to bring you so much more opportunity than not buying it and continuing to use the same one. So very simple framework, run that through anything that you're going to invest in and I guarantee you will make smarter decisions with your investments. And remember, you cannot budget your way to wealth. If you want to get wealthy, if you want to build an amazing profitable business, you're going to have to pay to play. So overnight, hope that was useful. Peace.